Senator Barrasso, you have an unusual perspective because you're a policymaker, but you're also a physician yourself. And I'm curious, you know, how do you see the role of government in trying to help encourage the healthcare system to change in the ways that it needs to change? Is the Affordable Care Act helping in any ways? Are there other things that, that policymakers need to do or should do to try to help nudge things in the direction that they should go? Well, uh, first of all, I want to congratulate uh, Jonathan for the plan that they have put together at the YMCA. Uh, for 25 years that I practiced orthopedic surgery. In addition to that, I was the medical director of something called the Wyoming Health Fairs, mm -hmm. where people could go through low-cost blood screenings, uh, you'd go get their bloods drawn ahead of time for $16 to $20, uh, and then they'd show up the day of the fair, which was a Saturday, sometimes at a YMCA, a local community center, a high school gym. We'd have uh, folks there from the, uh, the, the, the Diabetes Association, Heart Association, Cancer Society, all with pamphlets and brochures about what they could use to do to keep down the cost of their care, early detection. We'd have physicians there to go over the blood work with them to say, oh, your cholesterol is too high. You might want to consider this. You may be pre-diabetic. You may have, th we picked up a lot of thyroid problems uh, there, interestingly enough. And we worked closely with the state in terms of what the government would do to the state so that all state employees could go and that would be covered under there. The biggest group we had trouble with was Medicare. Medicare would not reimburse our seniors for having this blood test done because they called it a screening test rather than specific. So if you'd said that the patient was a little dizzy, they could go to the hospital and get $300, which would have, would have cost to been for those same blood tests that we could do for $16. Medicare didn't want anything to do with it for years and years and years. So that seems to be the government has come. Did that change or is it still that way? Uh, no, it's changed. It's finally changed, but it's taken a long time. They have been, so you know, it's the, I think that Kind of the, the system out there goes faster than the government is, is able to do it. Uh, I've done health reports on television where I always sign off, here in Wyoming, I'm Dr. John Barrasso, helping you care for yourself. Done those for 25 years to give people information they could use to stay healthy. But it's like what we see at the YMCA. These are, for the most part, a self-selected group of people who want to go to your program, who want to come to the Wyoming health fairs. Uh, it doesn't deal with those folks who you talk about 50% of the cost of health care to 5% of, of the patients. And how do you focus and get, get, get care to that group? Uh, even that study in Oregon that was just in the, in the New England Journal of Medicine of people that were given Medicare, uh, Medicaid cards and were put on Medicaid, uh, they had less financial anxiety, but their health wasn't all that much better. So you kind of say, well, how can you actually deal with them from a prevention standpoint? Uh, I think from a government standpoint, this, uh, the health care law got it, got it in, backwards. Um, I, I think that people ought to have skin in the game when they try to decide, make decisions on buying things, that health insurance uh, ought to be like uh, real insurance, not covers everything, so people start thinking about what it, things actually cost, ask more questions as informed consumers, uh, and they don't do that now. They don't really shop around for prices. I think that's a difference.